and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie controlled diet using the NutriCheck app to track my calories. Today is Friday. It is the 4th? No, 5th? 4th. Uh, so Friday the 4th, it's a work from home day. What's going on from my fringe? I've already done the school runs. It's raining, so I've just drove. So my steps are not very high at the moment, 1,572. Um, had a good week so far. Way day tomorrow morning, so just fingers crossed that I get a loss. Obviously, I had a weight gain last week. I, I think it was just under three pound, um, and I really want to pull it back. So if I could lose three pound, I'd be well chuffed. But I don't know. Three pounds a lot for me, in my body. I don't generally have big losses like that. But I feel like I've had a really good week. Um. I've really enjoyed using my ninja, like I said yesterday. It's just, it's just made things a lot easier and opened up a lot more possibilities. Like I wouldn't have ever cooked cod or like a chicken breast during the day while I'm at work, just because of time of eating up oven and stuff like that. So, and it's not something that I could put in my out to fry. Whereas like my bread and mushrooms and stuff going me out to fry really easy. Things like that didn't really. So. Yeah, having that has definitely opened up possibilities. So I'm actually really excited to go shopping this weekend. I'm going all day and we get lots of fresh fish and meat and um, try and kind of use my ninja as much as possible. I have seen people doing veg in it and it comes out just slightly brown, but I suppose that's if you like al dente veg and I don't, I like mine soft. So yeah, I don't know. If anyone's, if anyone's done any veg in it, and it's been successful. I mean, obviously I've done mushrooms in it. Mushrooms are lovely in it. But yeah, I've not tried, I've, I've tried broccoli and burnt it. But other than that, I've not really tried anything. But yeah, let me um, know if you've done anything and it, or if you've done broccoli successful. Um, so yes, I am going to do some breakfast. I'll show you what I eat for around 1,400. The gym got cancelled last night, but it is on today, hopefully. I feel a bit A fever today, so I'm hoping that's not starting, but I'm going to start my A fever tablets now, just in case. <clears throat> it's half past three. No, it's not half past three. It's half past eight now, so I'm going to get some breakfast on, show you everything that I eat. I'm working until two today um, instead of three because I've got to take Bonnie to the vet. She needs a checkup before they'll give me a painkillers, um, which is costing a fortune. You just... 70 odd pound just to look at and say yeah she's still the same she still needs painkillers which i know they've got two i know i know they've got two but it's it's a lot of money into it when you're paying 35 pound a month for painkillers um anyway moan over i'm gonna get some breakfast i'll show you what i have so breakfast is underway i've got two chicken egg sausages two bacon medallions and two large flat mushrooms which I've weighed raw the meat, I'm going to be weighing cooked. I'm just going to give it, um, well, I'm going to turn the bacon over, give the sausages a shake, and it's got another six minutes left. I've put it on for 10 minutes. So here's breakfast for 264 calories, two of the chicken hex, two large mushrooms, two bacon medallions, a fried egg in fry light, and a slice of toast, all weighed and measured. So this is dinner for 355 calories, it's 71 calories for the hula hoops, the fudge is 98 calories and I'll pop the breakdown for the bagel which has just got salad cream on and two slices of wafer thin Tesco ham and a sweet clem. Well, I've finished work and I've just been to take the lovely Bonnie Boo to the vets, she was such a good girl, um, her arthritis hasn't got any worse, they're happy to give me the painkillers cost me £80 for the visit and then they looked at her eye, she's got a cyst, um, she's got a little bit bigger, she's had it squeezed under operation before and they think it looks a bit untoward now, um, they've recommended having it operated on, it's a £1,000, it's not irritating her at all, she's not rubbing it, don't affect her in any way and I'm just she's not covered with insurance because we cancelled it out of rage um, because they wouldn't pay out in the last two operations because they classed it as dental because she had growths in her gums um, and because of her age they'd put it up a lot as well and the fact that they weren't paying out so yes yeah, so she hasn't got insurance so I have to pay for these and I've only just paid off a last operation 
So, until, until I think it's affecting her, I'm not going to have it done, I don't think. But I'm going to start saving up now for it. So, I'm going to have to ask Kayla's phone me. But let me just tell you what I've just done. My mother has just posted me some chocolate through for looking after her dog this weekend. And I've seen it. Dairy me milk orange. I absolutely love orange chocolate. And as you can see, I've just binge at three strips of it. Per strip, 107 calories. So that's 300, about 330 calories just gone. I am going to the gym, but we're having a chipper. But I'm not sure I can pull that back. But I'm going to certainly try. But I'll tell you what, bloody scrummer. I need to hide it now from myself. The trouble is, if I hide it, I'll find it, won't I? I'll, I'll put it in bags. I'll split it in bags for kids and Steve. Right, I best go because Kayla's phoning. Catch you in a bit. Oh, that, the rest of it is portioned up. I've not had any more because I will quite happily, before I started trying to lose weight, me and Steve would get one of these giant bars. Well, we'd get two of these giant bars on a, a weekend, Friday or Saturday night, and we'd sit and just snaffle it. And then I'd feel that sick that I couldn't go to bed because I felt sick. Now, who eats like that? Me, clearly. But that is amazing. 107 four pieces. She also posted this through. This is 77 calories for four pieces. So this is not too bad. This is my bag. Obviously, I've eaten my chocolate. So that's Kaylee, Alex and Steve. Forgot my husband's name then. So I'm going to portion this one up. I'm going to have a bit in there. I'm not going to be eating it today. It's way day tomorrow. Do not want to jeopardise that. Um, so, yeah, this is the only way I can control myself from snaffling it. So I'll portion it up and I'll put it in um, everyone's snack tins. And then I know that I've only got this to eat and I will have this over the weekend. I've just worked out the chocolate. It was th 318 calories. Was it? 300? Oh, I'll put it up on the screen. Whatever it bloody were, I've got to work my arse off in the gym now, but oh, it was nice chocolate, nice chocolate. So I'm setting off now, I'm going to do club of size, it's an hour class, and I'm going to put some extra jumps in to try and burn some more calories to get that chocolate down and to um, get a good way in tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. And 47 calories. I will pop the breakdown on screen. Well, I'm back from the gym. I've had the chippy, which was delicious, and I was ready for it. Um, and because I'd had the chocolate, I just I felt guilty, and I absolutely worked every bit of my body at the gym. I've I worked so hard and I burnt over 500 calories. So I will. I'll pop up, I don't know if I'll have popped it up or so I'll pop it up now what I've burnt. Um, but I've definitely burnt over the chocolate that I had. So I'm really, really chuffed with that. And I absolutely love the class tonight, the music. I, I did take a little clip. This were towards end, so we'd already done quite a few tracks. But yeah, I'll pop, I'll pop this in. Um, I'm not the most elegant when exercising steve says i've got no coordination but do you know what i give it me all and i've burnt over 500 calories and that's most i've been at the gym for a very long time it's usually for toning and cardio it's usually about 350 for eye intense cardio it's usually about 450 so to burn over 500 i am so impressed with myself and do you know what if if i stand on the scales tomorrow and they've not moved or i've put on 
I know that I've had a good week. I'm really proud of myself. I've varied my food up more than I normally do. And I'm still going to do that next week. I want to go to Aldi, like I said, and just have a look and think about food a little bit more. Think about what I can do in the Ninja. Um, it's just vegetables, obviously. I want to be trying more things. Um, I think I might try spinach this week. I've never tried spinach before. I won't like it not cooked. Um, but if anyone's got tips, like how do you cook spinach? Do you season it? Do you... Do you know what I mean? Just just let me know. And what would you serve it with? I'm Because it looks a bit like cabbage when it's cooked. I'm hoping it just tastes a bit like cabbage. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go around um, Aldi and just see what new things I can try this week. Just push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit. Because I am very stuck in my ways. And like I've said when I spoke about my anxiety, um, I tend to like a routine and structure and it does it does make me anxious trying new things even so much as I've, I've I only like satsumas fruit and don't like anything else but I have tried little bits but for me to get my head around having sweet cleanse has been has been hard because I don't know I, I, I can't even explain it it's just different to me and um yeah so I need to keep pushing myself to do new things. And hopefully when I've had started with this um, cognitive therapy, it might change the way I view food as well. I won't get stressed about trying new things. Maybe it'll help me in that way as well. So, but yeah, I've had a really good week and I'll talk about more, more about it in my way in vlog tomorrow and um, talk about plans for the week and obviously we'll discuss my weight whether I've lost or not so good luck to everyone weighing in this weekend and don't let the weekend spoil it for you you've worked hard all week do not let it spoil you and that's more for me as it is for you weekends just seems to be an excuse just to go crazy don't it and when you've worked so hard during week and then you just let just just ruin it just for weekend just just for to eat crap when on calories you can eat crap anyway you can just calorize it so anyway i've that's more for myself we're going to cinema tomorrow and steve's already said he's having a big bag of giant buttons but i'm not doing it we're having a nando's these brownies are in post because i've just got a message so they might come tomorrow or monday so i want to have them calories spare to have that nando's is quite high but i do want to have their fries because they're amazing um so I might not even have a snack when I go into the cinema. I might just treat myself to a nice bottle of Diet Coke and um, just have something light for breakfast. Maybe some um, wheat bix or something, get my fibre in me. Um, but we'll see how it goes anyway. So I am going to get my pyjamas on because I'm going to just get a shower in the morning. So then I'm fresh for the weekend. Um, I'm going to go and watch something with Stevie B. And yes, I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. If you've not already subscribed, it would be fab if you could. I will pop my calorie count up. I will pop my nutritional information up and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.